टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू वर्शिप श्री गणेश एज यू नो इन द होल ऑफ यूरोप अमेरिका इंग्लैंड दे हैव लॉस्ट फेथ इन श्री गणेश नॉट दे केयर फॉर हिज पावर्स एंड फॉर हिज ब्लेसिंग्स as a result all his blessings are not on these countries the first blessing of sri ganesha which is i think is the highest is the wisdom <coughs> that we learn what is good for us and what is bad for us what is constructive and what is destructive what should we do to achieve our self realization those people <coughs> who have got wisdom are very lucky people but wisdom comes from <coughs> no source but your own understanding of life when a person start thinking why am i doing such and such thing what is the effect of my doing what is the result of my behavior is it good for me or bad for me then wisdom comes even if some people know that this is bad for them still they do not have power to control themselves still they do lots of bad things which they should not do the reason is the power of wisdom is not there a person is wise who does not only know what is right and wrong but also <coughs> he knows very well his own power not to do something wrong he just does not do it wisdom is a complete power within ourselves by which we try nothing it just spontaneously works through us and we do things which are proper and right because they say that ganesha is a giver of wisdom he is a giver of wisdom means just wisdom becomes a dharma becomes a part and parcel of your being you become just wise now somebody may ask mother how to become wise is very difficult to say how to become wise it is just that it happens that you become wise so though he is a child he is so mature is so wise and he is not only that but he emits wisdom and this wisdom is a innate quality of anyone who is a surgeon because in him also shri ganesh has been awakened so he becomes a wise person very wise and with wisdom what does he achieve he achieves a balance a proper uh, proper ascent and also he understands that this ascent is for his benevolence for the benevolence of his country benevolence of the whole world he understand the importance of surgery without this wisdom one cannot understand and this wisdom is within us just absolutely uh, innately built in only thing is we have to use the store house of this wisdom that is within us of course with sa yoga it starts emitting and you start feeding and you start understanding what is wisdom is you give up all your stupid childish things you give up all your uh, attachments you give up many of your 
say things that you don't like, which doesn't behove you, you feel that you should give up, but you cannot. But with Sahaja Yoga, it just happens automatically and you just see in your light what is needed, what is not needed. In that wisdom, you throw away whatever is wrong. So what a great work this Ganesha has to do within ourselves. This <coughs> manifestation of Ganesha within us is very important, I think. Not that it is only the basis, but also the foundation stone of spiritual life is Sri Ganesha. That's why I've been very anxious that we should find out proper schools for our children. They should have proper education and they should be looked after because their Ganesh Tattva is already there. Only thing we have to nourish it, we have to look after it and make it grow. Once that happens, then children are safe. Then nothing, nothing can harm them. Nothing they will ab absorb which is wrong. They will never be again in the wrong path. But from very childhood, if you never had this kind of training or this kind of understanding about Kundalini or about the wisdom part of it, you can never later on easily assimilate it. For that you really require a great effort and understanding that you have to have this. You, it's so beautiful, you must uh, get this attention and you must get this innocence within it. With Sahaja Yoga, as you see, it's working out very fast and people are getting really very wise and I can see the wisdom writ large on their faces. In this wisdom, what do we find here? You see, on any line that we move, we can find that most of our problems are coming from human beings. Because ecological problem or any problem you think of comes from human beings or other problems that you have in your own country as you have seen that uh, there are such problems that they sort of endless and they, you cannot change them. You feel very nice sitting underneath this because you are fed up with the cement that you have and the problems it causes to you and the way it is now be becoming very artificial. But in these circumstances, one has to understand that the wisdom part, play, uh, wisdom plays such a part in life that whatever may happen outside, whatever may be the trend, whatever may be the fashion, whatever may be the people are all changing into, you do not change. You change within. Once you have changed within, then you have full idea as to what is expected uh, of others, and what they should do, what you are doing, and how to deal with them, and how to talk to them, how to tell them, how far to go with them. Everything, all this comes through wisdom. In Sahaja Yoga, as you know, you are very capable people, you have achieved a lot, you know everything, you have know all about chakras, you know practically everything, I don't have to tell you anything. Despite all that, one should have also the wisdom how to deal with others, how to talk to others, how to behave towards others, how not to control anyone, not to say something that will be rather harsh or hurting. Because if you are trying to spread Sahaja Yoga, this is the only way we can go forward, is to look after everyone with great compassion. Now, we might think that wisdom <coughs> is there with us and, and uh, we know how to do so many things with our wisdom and uh, now we are absolutely wise. I agree with Sahaja Yogis, now they have become really very, very wise and they know how to use their wisdom. But still, <coughs> faith in themselves has to be really on a nirvikalpa state. That is only possible also Sri Ganesha, because he is in nirvikalpa. He has no vikalpas, nothing. He doesn't have to question anything, he doesn't have to ask for anything, he's just there. 
and he is in complete nirvikalpa, complete, absolutely into a state where he is not at all attached, uh, nor is he uh, worrying about things, nothing of the kind. He is just in nirvikalpa, and in that nirvikalpa, he worships Mother. Small, small stories can show you how he was so sure of himself, how he had courage, and how he worked out everything so intelligently. But when you are doing something, you can be in two minds. You can be not so decisive. But he was, and he is, always very decisive that he knows what is to be done. Right there, this is the point. So in wisdom you don't have to think, argue. I've seen many people who say, Mother, you see, we were thinking, then we had vibrations, we didn't know what to do, this, that, how to do, how to correct, how to work it out. Now I must say this is a state. It is not a state uh, to be achieved, but it's a state. means you are there. It has to be innately built in yourself this state of wisdom. But you can also work it out by just concentrating on yourself and trying to find out what's the matter with me, what happens to me, why, why is it I am like this. The introspection can help you a lot to be extremely wise. But easier method is to worship uh, the principle of innocence within yourself.